To some of you that are upgrading to Sony Vegas Pro 14 or are switching over from a previous version may have a similar problem to me and that is where the normal codecs are gone. Strangely enough when I first installed Sony Vegas Pro I didn't have the normal ones such as main concept and some other ones I think I didn't have MPEG as well. I normally use them a lot because they are in MP4 format. All you need to do is install a program and it will pretty much install all the video codecs back to normal and it would also give you another one which is really good and I don't know where it's gone but it's somewhere in here. It is the H.264 which is also a really high quality one. Now the first thing you want to do is obviously you want to close down the program because you don't want it running in the background. If it's running then it's going to mess things up and you don't want to do that so Save your project or whatever you're working on, close it down. I'm not going to save mine because it's not very important. Before I start this video, I also want to give credit to this person right here because this is where I found the link originally and this is the person that helped me. The reason why I'm doing this video is because it is important for the next videos that I'll be doing and that is the render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 14. The thing is with this video, when I installed this format right here, it actually installed all the other ones as well, all the old ones. So you can pretty much get them all now. It's all in one. You can either go to his video and there'll be a link to download there, or you can go over to the link that I'll be putting, which takes you to the same place anyway. First thing you do once you've clicked on that website is to identify which version of Windows you have. Is it a 32 bit or is it 64? For me, it's 64, so I will click on this link but if yours is 32 then go on this link here i'm gonna go on the 64 one and the one that i downloaded was actually this one i did try the latest one but for some reason that one didn't work so i went over to this one click the folder and all you do from here is just click download that's all you do you give it some time to download and as you can see now i've got it I'm going to put it on my desktop, so... Once you have it on your desktop, all you got to do is just double click on it, run it, it will ask you for admin permission, click yes, and just go through the installation guide. I can't really do it myself right now because I've already installed it on my computer. I'm not going to mess it up. I don't want to like do anything like that. And I probably can't install it anyway. It'll probably say some message about like I've already got it. Once you've got that program installed, it might ask you to restart your computer. If it does, then click yes. And once you've restarted, open up Sony Vegas again. And you should already have it installed. It should be done. The very last thing you want to do is obviously to render out a video. It could be your project or you could just test out, see what it's like. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't have the main concept one because that one came with Sony Vegas Pro 12 and 13. So it was a little bit strange. If you've already got it, then you don't need to do this. But I would still recommend doing it because you get the H.264, which is a really good, it's the quality of it. You will see the difference. I hope this video was helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. It shows other people that it was useful. Leave a comment on what you think and I will see you in my next video, which will probably be the random video, the best render settings.